There are three types of influenza viruses, A, B, and C, with influenza A viruses being the most common. Influenza A viruses can infect many different species of birds and mammals in addition to humans. Since there are so many influenza A viruses, they are further divided into subtypes and named based on the antigens found on the surface of the virus. There are two different types of surface antigens. One is the hemagglutinin antigen, commonly referred to as H, and the second is the norominidase antigen, commonly referred to as N. There are 18 H antigens and 11 N antigens, and many different combinations of these antigens are possible. The combination of the H and N antigens is what gives the virus its subtype name. H5N1 and H7N9, which are depicted on the slide, are just two of the many examples of influenza A subtypes. These two particular subtypes infect mainly birds, but have also caused illness in humans. When influenza viruses infect birds, the resulting infection is often called bird flu. Avian influenza, or AI, can infect both wild and domestic birds. While not common, sometimes influenza viruses that infect birds can also infect people. Three prominent subtypes of avian influenza A viruses known to infect both birds and people are the subtypes H5, H7, and H9. Avian influenza viruses are often classified based on pathogenicity, which refers to their ability to produce disease in birds. Low pathogenic viruses are responsible for causing mild disease in birds, while highly pathogenic viruses are responsible for causing severe disease in birds. The major natural reservoir for influenza A viruses is migratory waterfowl. This includes birds such as ducks and geese that are capable of traveling long distances. Waterfowl will harbor the influenza virus without showing signs of being sick and can spread the disease to domestic poultry during their migrations. Chlamydia cytosy is a bacterial pathogen that is capable of infecting birds and people. In birds, infection with this bacteria is referred to as avian chlamydiosis. When humans are infected with the bacteria, the resulting disease is called psittacosis. Although some literature will use the term psittacosis to describe infection in both birds and humans, for the purpose of this module we will refer to infection in birds as avian chlamydiosis and infection in humans as psittacosis. While many types of birds can be infected with chlamydia psittacy, the type of birds commonly reported as associated with infection in humans are pet birds such as cockatiels and parakeets, However, human illness associated with poultry and other types of birds has been documented. The clinical signs of avian influenza in birds varies depending on the pathogenicity of the virus. For low pathogenic viruses, birds may be asymptomatic, meaning they do not show any clinical signs, or they may show signs of mild disease, such as ruffled feathers or decreased egg production. When birds are infected with a highly pathogenic avian influenza, their clinical signs are more severe. Birds may experience depression, diarrhea, coughing, or nasal discharge. It is also possible that there may be swelling and hemorrhage of the wattles or comb, which is when there is an accumulation of fluid and blood under the skin. It is important to note that both low and highly pathogenic avian influenza viruses spread very rapidly through flocks. With highly pathogenic avian influenza, Sometimes the only clinical signs observed are severe illness and death within a short period of time. 